15. How often do we see that surf against the golf fan? If uh, Team Nishikori did any scouting whatsoever, K better be sitting on that wide serve on the deuce side. Chilich has been using that quite a bit. Started out serving poorly against Goffin. Really good precision from Nishikori. Again, just getting the return back in play. Chilich misplays the first ball. And lets Nishikori open up on offense. Wow. 14, 15. How's that for solid ground stroking early doors? Well, Cade be warmed up after this point, <laughs> having to run side to side a few times. Head nice and still on contact. What a start for Chilich. First game. Raining down winners. That'll do the confidence that the world are good. And a couple of decent first serves there, Taylor. Stark contrast to his previous match. <laughs> yeah. No, no kidding. And I feel like that game is kind of... I, you can never forecast the way a match is going to go, but if Chilich is executing well, yep. he does everything just a little bit better than Nishikori, except for perhaps move. You know, his serve is is you know substantially better than Nishikori's. His groundies are as good as Nishikori's, but probably have a little bit more weight behind them. Um, but his level typically will fluctuate a lot more than K. K is a, maintains a very steady level throughout the course of the match. So when Chilich is playing well, it's it's probably going to be a little bit too strong. Kay's going to have to capitalize on those lulls in Chilich's play. when he was making unforced errors against Goffa. Got to take that first obstacle out of play. As a coach, you always tell your charges to miss long. If you are going to miss. You have good misses in the sport, you have bad misses yep, too, don't I you? I agree with that 100%. I mean, that's one of the big benefits. That's one of the big advantages of hitting with a bunch of topspin. I mean, in theory, what you should be doing is taking the net out of play and the baseline out of play because that ball is working so hard to go up over the net and then crash down uh, before the baseline.
15. I was chatting to one of my good friends who's part of the Nishikori camp. He represents a clothing company that uh, both him and Federer wear now. And he was just saying when Nishikori headed to the finals of the US Open back in 2014. Went back home. And he's, he's a very natural guy. And they asked him, you know, what is he going to do now that he's back in Japan? And he says, no, he's just going to relax. He's so tired. He wants to you know, have his favorite fish, which is called a uh, Nodoguru. It's just the name of the fish. And have some nice meal with one of those. Next thing, everybody's just sending him this fish. They're quite a rare fish in Japan. Tasty. Not cheap, just in casual conversation. That was kind of the effect that he had. And now in the fish market, to this day, in Tokyo, you have the name of the fish, Noroguru, recommended by <laughs> Kei Nishikori. <laughs> Awesome, I Brilliant, love it. Huh? Well, that's why these clothing companies and, and these you know sponsors, they pay so much money for, money for these athletes to be associated with them, especially mm -hmm. for someone like Kay. You know, mm -hmm. Kay is a very marketable guy, very humble. is world class. Yes. Both of these guys possess lethal backhands down the line. You know, when I see these matchups come and, and you know we have to call matches or if I'm interested in the result of a match, mm -hmm. I always just the first question I ask is who throughout the course of the match is going to hold serve easier? You know, I because I think that is the big thing. I mean in men's tennis you can't rely on breaking. So I think that uh, Whoever is going to game in, game out throughout the course of the match hold easier is the strong favorite. And again, with Chilich, you kind of never know what to expect because we, we see such a wide range. But if he comes out and he plays solid, Kay's going to have to work a lot harder. It's shot making of the highest order. It's a pity it has to finish with the Sun Forced Era. Well, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, how hard did Nishikori have to win, have to work just to win that serving point? You know, when Chilich was serving, it was very easy points. Mm. He, K was still the one being moved around. So it's going to be tough if the match continues to go that way for Nishikori. Game. And one game all, and of course we do have the heat rule policy in effect. It was it determined earlier today when the, the wet bulb globe index is 31 is 30.1 degrees Celsius or greater. And it's 30.1 degrees Celsius or greater. The tournament referee or the tournament direct in conjunction with the tour. And they will notify the players. And then in the case of the men, after the third set, they're entitled to a 10-minute break. Fifteen. It's been in effect uh, yesterday as well. There's Ivan Sinkus on the left. Aaron's coach, a long-time friend who he's known since his days, early days in Zagreb. Always used to coach him when he was back home from his travels around the globe. Lefty, there's Ivan.
Certainly. Well, Spot Brett did a lot of the work with him as a youngster. Goran Ivanisevic brought him to Bob. Marty Mulligan just yep. behind there. Of course, rep represents the company. Fila that you see Cilic wearing, a very good former player. You'll know Marty well, won't yeah, you? Yeah, my father. My father played in, in that era. Is very good friends with Martin Mulligan. on the right, Slavan Horth is conditioning trainer who works with Ivo Kolovic as well. Again, Cilic. Executing good patterns of play. Cilic. And as Taylor suggested, a nice comfortable hole for Cilic. He leads 2-1. Big day for Aaron Cilic and Kane Ishikori of a major. Of course, they have both been to this stage at the very least. We know that since uh, they both played Especially in the 2014 the finals. The players are it's been a happy hunting Thank ground you. for Nishikori. So good success here. It's Nothing a big day in the Koenig household as well. Giselle, my wife, uh, happy birthday, 5th of September. Happy birthday, Giselle. Mm. Celebrating her. 25th? Uh, no, 10th anniversary of the 38th. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> birthday Love yesterday and that was the uh, same year as me vintage year 1971 it's like those napa wines that we were discussing oh nice no. there's vintage there's the old racket 65 square inches i mean they look like badminton rackets these days sweet spot about the size of a pea folks first set going to be today given the conditions yeah I, I think emotionally mentally it's, it's everything okay. you know, for these guys I'd say more so for Nishikori because mm -hmm. he has to work so much harder to win points just go to Michael Chang then uh, Chilich does like I could see Chilich having hot Nishikori serving set and just not have to do too much Time. We'll go earlier on in the rally. Louise Engzel, the chair umpire, giving him confirmation that she thought it was in. And 
confirmation from Hawkeye that the ball that Ishikori was uh, thinking was out was indeed out. He's got a rough call there, chose not to challenge, of course. It's difficult mid rally, especially that one on the baseline. 15.30 down, too. Mm -hmm. What a different Chilich we're seeing this match, the beginning of this match, Changes compared to uh, the Gofan match. That is world class shot making, clean as you like. Don't forget to download the US Open app for all the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news, celebrity sightings, and more. We had plenty of them last night. And that's available in the App Store and Google Play Store, usopen.org. is the place where it's all happening, folks. Ben Stiller was here yesterday evening watching a bit of uh, Raffa, Raffa, Raffa. So lefty. Mark Knowles was telling me the uh, pro-am with him. Sneaky little lefty. Michael Keaton also made an appearance yesterday evening. Fifteen. Of them. Chilich has got to feel good about not only the 3-1 lead, the upper break lead, but he's got to feel good about how these points are going. I'd say he's controlling and dictating, you know, 70, 80 percent of these points, even when Nishikori's serving. Nishikori's just in kind of conservation mode, but he certainly looks to be taking his time an awful lot in between serves, in between points. And if he is feeling anything out there, it's, it's not going to get any better having Chilich dictate this many points. Yep. Backhand down the line has been on fire. Nine winners already for Chilich, and we're only in the fourth game. Again, you just can't leave balls there. You can't leave balls there in modern tennis. You know, anything centrally located around the service line, it's just target practice. Very impressive. He has come out of the blocks. All guns blazing. He's up a break as Chilich. 4-1 first set. Take your seats, please. Thank you. A very warm conditions are down on Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. One of our co-commentators, Nick Lester, sitting courtside, just shot me a message to say, Robbie, I am roasting down here. <laughs> But the humidity not quite as bad as it was yesterday. Just the top right of your screen there. Where 
Mark has taken a seat to get close to the action, get a real feel for what's going on. In the sunny side. Yep. I think that's going to be key today for both these players. Yeah, really good job from Kay that time. Initiating offense, looking to angle Chilich off of the court. Seeing that he was really under duress coming in, taking time away. Didn't need to do too much with that volley because he took so much time away. who weren't with us at the start of the broadcast. Just a reminder that uh, the heat rule is in effect today. The men are entitled to take a, a break after the third set, 10 minute break. And that is because uh, the wet bulb globe index is 30.1 degrees Celsius or higher. Again, Got to take care of the player's health. Chile, Chile. Four games to two, first set. Still one of my favorite stories of the championships was Novak Djokovic and Martin Vukovic took a 10-minute uh, timeout time out after the third set, had ice bars alongside one another, chatting to one another pretty much about how the match had transpired. <laughs> and then, boom, they've got to get out there and duke it out again. Be a good raconteur with Novak. Tells a good story. 15 oh, I love that angle. See the shape of that serve beautifully. Yep, diving down, cutting away from Nishikori. That's the biggest serve. But it just shows you placement and spin can do so much damage. 113 miles an hour. I think what makes serving effective these days, I mean, if you hit a 130, 140, whatever it is, that's fine, it's great. But if you can hit all the spots with the same toss, not to show your opponent anything, and then I think what also makes the serve effective is if you have a threatening shot behind it. Yes. It makes the returner have to go for more than they want to. Another clinical service game here from Marin. I always, I always found when I was serving at opponents, you know, I hit my, a lot of my biggest serves in the beginning of the matches because they aren't really adjusted to the pace of my serve, and my serve was, you know, one of the quicker ones out there, so I'd get a lot of free points just from the pace. But after my second service game, I felt like they had their timing down for my pace, so that's when, you know, you'd have to switch to more focused on accuracy and changing up the spins a little bit. And that's second game we're talking about, not second set. No, second game. They climatize real quick. Good oh. defense, but not good enough. He looks too strong on serve. He's only lost Chilich three Chilich points on his deal thus far. He's got a comfortable lead here. Five games to two. First set. Oh. 
You can see, of course, the champion here on two occasions, 94 and 99. Got the camera rackets out, of course. New series from uh, Wilson. On the left, Santa Sebastian, the ball was called in. More up than in is my guess. Oh, it's definitely out, right? <laughs> Under 16. Half and half. That's too good. And that, that's what Chilich brings to the table. Where do you play defense when he's playing well? You know, if you play defense and try to neutralize the point to the backhand, that's what he can do. Forehand, same deal. 13 winners already. Equal amount from the forehand and the backhand. Four apiece. Body language from Chile just looking good. Contrast to the young man on the other side of the court. I really think he is being affected by the conditions out here today. A set point for the Croat. First serve. Sure, what the problem was. Shikori will have a do over. Set point it is. Perfect start for Marin Cilic. He is up and running here in 16, the first quarterfinal today. 6-2 it is. We'll have to wait and see as Cilic opens up this second set how aggressive Nishikori decides to play. Get the feeling like that's his only chance to have a shot at this set. And up here, Robbie, we can only assume, you know, from what we see that Nishikori is maybe feeling the conditions out there a little bit. But 
when you start to play aggressive, you solve a lot of the problems that come with being fatigued. You know, you dictate play, so therefore, I mean, in tennis, the highlight points are when both players are moving. Normally, one player is moving a lot and one player is not moving so much in, in the course of an average point. Yeah. And the other benefit is you just keep the points short. The downside, obviously, is you know it's, it's risky. A little collision, the ball kids. And you could rack up the errors, but I just don't think there's an alternative, a high percentage alternative for Nishikori. Chilich has had all the answers so far for him today. He wanted to take that second serve early, didn't he? Yeah, he did. And he did the other serve, too. Mm -hmm. Jammed up. And that's pretty smart. You know, Chilich saw that on the first point, and look at that second serve, 103 miles an hour at the body, and that's where you should serve somebody standing close. Fortuna. If someone's going to charge in, I, I remember Robbie Ginepri used to love standing well in, and I would put a, a lot of serves, and I was not a fan of the body serve, but I put a lot of serves at, at the body against anybody who was standing on or inside the baseline. It's been impressive from Chilich. Relentless. You can see Ishikori just walking at a glacial pace there to his chair. A lot more energy emanating from Chilich. Appearing in his third Grand Slam quarterfinal of the season. Today is Chilich. Second Grand Slam quarterfinal of the season for K. Ninth of his career. Third here at the US Open. That's at the US Open where he's had his most success. In fact, he's won both his previous two matches this stage. And the hard courts match up for Kay's game pretty well. We talked earlier about Chilich's game translating to, to all services. Chilich doesn't mind standing, you know, six feet behind the baseline and, and having a crack from back there. Nishikori much prefers standing closer to the baseline. And when you start talking about clay court tennis, that yes. gets tough with the bounces. The bounces are a little more unpredictable. And when you stand, when you force it, obviously everybody wants to move up and, and play offense, you know, on the baseline. But when you force it, and these guys are hitting strong balls deep, that's when you get a lot of miss hits, a lot of mistakes. Thank you, he has made it. Initially, I thought it would just sailed wide. Oh, well in. Squeeze 
exquisite feel, well constructed point from start to finish. Well, we haven't seen Chilich have to run around the court too much, but that game, you know, Kay was able to spread the court out. And I, it's dangerous. You know, if you're Chilich and you feel like Nishikori is sluggish and slowing down and you start playing balls careful to the center of the court and letting Kay run you around, you could, you could equal out the physicality of this match and the, the uh, fatigue really soon, really quick. That's actually what happened earlier in the tournament, Anderson and Harrison. Harrison uh, looked the fresher for the first you know, few sets, but then he just kind of played a little bit too, too much up the middle of the court, and Anderson started running Harrison around, and then by the end of the match, it looked very equal in terms of fatigue. In fact, Harrison may have looked worse than Anderson. Set it up. against one of the best returners on tour. Challenge exemplary. He is perfect behind that first serve. 13 of 13. Remember, just Goran Ivanisevic, who just lowered his ball toss, encouraged him to just drop it a bit, get a slightly quicker action going. It's been a good thing for him. You won't hear too many coaches tell you to lower your ball toss on the serve. Yes. Very nicely done. Good on serve. Chilich leads by set 2 1. Please take a seat, ladies and gentlemen. A rich history going back to 1881. Of course, this year marks the 50th anniversary of the US Open. It used to be called the US National Championships before it became an Open. And, uh, a lot of people might not remember that uh, this event was played on grass up until 1974. Then on clay for a couple yep. of years. Incredible ball striking again from both. Finally, since 1978, it's been played on a hard court surface. A little trivia question for you after this next point. I want to know which clothing company had the 1881 logo. Jimmy Connors used to wear them, if that helps. Is that uh, Fred Perry? No. I give up. You're not even a breakdown. It's, a, it's, a, it's only 1540. I'll give you a clue. It starts with the letter C. Well, you tried to cheat for me, and I still don't even know it. You don't know Saruti? Never heard of Saruti. Wow. You're too young. 
Giving your each away here, Taylor. It's a little outside my wheelhouse, Ravi. <laughs> one of the new kids on the block. Not like us old guys. I think this one's in. It's good for both boxes. Those are the nice serves. Never call those ones out. Two games on the second set. Chile has two challenges early. USOpen.org is your online home to watch or listen to matches in real time. Follow match scores with near live highlights, dig deeper into the key stats and more. So don't forget to visit us on the official tournament site at usopen.org. This could be Nishikori's opportunity. Chilich hasn't run away in this second set, and we know Chilich will throw in a couple of loose games here and there. And it's always nice to get that get out of jail free card. I feel like that was an opportunity miss. Nishikori had an opportunity to take offense in that point. 3 2 it is. I went to the wire 7 6 in the fifth. Chilich and Nishikori fighting for a spot in the semi finals where they'll await the winner of the Djokovic. Millman match tonight. A 
will be off to the woman who start at seven o'clock, Carlos Suarez Navarro and Madison Keys. So far, Chilic is looking dialed in. He is dialed in, but I think this set so far has gone the way Nishikori, I think, would want it to go. It hasn't been that physical, and he's hanging in there. He's not down a break yet. Just feels like there hasn't been as much scrambling as there was in the first set. Not sure about the drop shot. And this is going to crush Nishikori's legs right here. That he put a lot of effort out to get to that drop shot. I thought to Chilich could get himself in trouble here. And he's done well. Two break points. Please. Has it got a piece of the line? Yes. You've got to challenge it anyway. I would have challenged that for sure, even if I thought it was in. Worth the challenge. Yep. Kissing the line. Chilich strikes first in the second set. Kemp is delighted and understandably so in these oppressive conditions after an hour's play. He's a set and a break to the good. Chilich is playing such a high level of tennis. The last service game he had was by far the, the loosest one. And it still wasn't an issue to hold, held it uh, at 30. I mean, Nishikori is going to need a lot of help from Chilich to get this match back on even terms. Momentum going, and he's uh, worked so hard to garner. Got to give Nishikori no look in here. Must hold. Uh oh. No, no First point that Chilich has lost behind the first serve. Oh. 
Hamilton. Wow. First break point opportunity for Nishikori. Three forehand unforced errors that give the break straight back to Nishikori. We're back on serve, 4 3 it is. Still down 3 4 in the second set with work to do. Talking about at the beginning of the match when Chilich is playing well, executing well. I feel like he's a little too strong for Nishikori, but he does have those lulls, whether it be because of nerves or just the randomness of his game. But even the game he held before that game he got broken, his level dropped off. I mean, this has been a lull, and this is what Nishikori, we said in the beginning, was going to need to capitalize, capitalize on. That last 400 turn. Almost at the back fence on the fly. And at this level, I can't think that these lulls in Chilich's game is anything but nerves. Everybody's so skilled here that they have such a consistent hit on the ball that the misses aren't going to be like you said. They're not going to be huge. But when nerves come into play, your mechanics change slightly, and all bets are off. You know, you can see anything happen out there, and that's, you know, I think Chilich is notorious for a ton of double faults. Yep. Yeah, it's the same deal. At this level, typically, that's a product of just thinking about things you shouldn't be thinking about. A very good one-two combination. That'll infuse Nishikori with plenty of confidence. So right back in this now. Yeah, this set just got real interesting. But tell you what, Chilich better play these first two points real strong, otherwise we're going to see a burst of energy from Nishikori if he sees a chance at a breaking. with new balls. Good hustle though. He was in New Jersey when he hit that return of surf. Camera shot so deep in the court. Saw so Nadal and Dominic team adopting that strategy yesterday evening. When returning, he's just taking a step or two for forward now, is Nishikori. Mm. He's got him.
13 for 10. There's a replay of the first point. Mm -hmm. Come on, C. Come on, V. Copy and paste. That is, 13, 14. Uh, even if it goes over, Taylor, it's halfway into the alley. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think he just gets so tight. I mean, what an unbelievable turnaround for Nishikori. And again, what we say, when, when, when Nishikori was down to break 4-2, he needed Chilich to help, and that's exactly what Chilich has done. You called it another break point for Nishikori, adjusting his return position here. Amazing how much more, uh, you know, adrenaline impacts somebody's yep. energy. I mean, Nishikori looks sharp now all of a sudden. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? This has been all four down since 4 2 up. Now, Chilich is 5 4 down. Chilich. Not 10 minutes ago, Kenny Shikori was down at a set and 4-2. Hadn't had a single look at a break point on the Chilich serve. Gets one in that seventh game and is able to break back. Not only does he break back once, but he breaks again in the ninth. He's going to serve for the second set now. on the left far side line the ball was called out you're shaking me off there like it's definitely out oh i don't know it was definitely out i think it was out was it it was close not confident on that one right. comfortably wide in the end we don't need the triple zoomer you know it's out. Fifty nine. Chile has one challenge remaining. I'm not happy about something. Two points away here is Nishikori. Swing allows him to take it so early and on the rise. Mm. 
And this really has been calamitous for Chilich at a set and 4-2 up. It's set point Nishikori now. Oh, what a way to close the set out. His signature backhand down the line delivers. He wins the second, 6-4. But we'll see. I mean, it doesn't take much sometimes to give your opponent energy and hope and, and inspiration. And I feel like that's why the first set and a half was going so one-sided is Nishikori just looked down. And, and after that second half of the second set, Nishikori looked good. He looked sharp, energetic. He's missed it. What a hustle from Kay. Yeah, really good effort from Nishikori. And, and the other thing, too, is, is how is Nishikori going to feel now when he is down a break or if he happens to be down a break? He's not going to feel that bad. Yeah. He's going to say, well, this guy just gave it to me last time. I, all I have to do is hang in there. You, you know, you just embolden your opponent when you let your mind wander. Another incredible get. It was about a, a six minute delay from the last point of the second set. The first point of the third. I guess just helped Nishikori reset. Get into the air conditioning room. And there's uh, the locker room just by the entrance. It's more of a waiting room. Another incredible get from him. So they end up, what, what is a typical set break, Robbie? How long is that supposed to be? Two minutes? Two minutes. And they got six minutes? How do you feel about that? Change of clothing, though. Change of attire. Uh, it's allowed to go longer. That's how it works. That's where many feel that the rules need to be tightened up a bit. Now they look forward to, for sure, another 10-minute break after this set. So that's that's quite a bit of rest that these guys aren't usually used to having. Yeah, and if you're wondering why the 10-minute break, that's because uh, the heat rule policy is in place at the start of this match. That's when uh, the wet bulb globe index gets to 30.1 degrees Celsius or greater. Oh, he had it. Signature Nishikori. Here he comes. Three breaks on the bounce. Prior to that, folks, he had not had a look in on a single break point. I feel like just the name of the game right now for Nishikori is just to keep fighting. You know, Chilich is obviously mentally kaput and you know he's going to come back you know it's a long way to go he's going to put in a good mental effort there refocus on what he's supposed to but you hit the nail on the head is that before if he had 
given him nothing, he probably would have lost interest in the third, would have felt the effects of the heat. For sure. But now... Oh, he's, 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 he's allowed running. to kick him. Oh, no, yeah, he's running, kick. absolutely. Let's for some. Chile to Chamin Hukon on the right far side line and the ball is called out. Fifteen. Chile has two challenges to win. I saw this when I was commentating the church's match at Wimbledon. And I lost it in the second round to Guido Pella of Argentina. In the first two sets on that occasion, 6-3, 6-1. And they played one poor service game, trying to rush it before the rain came. It was up a break, 3-2. Rushed it, lost a serve. Had to come back the next day and could not find the court, Taylor. It should have been a routine victory for him. Coming off the win at Queens, Pella was nowhere. Well, look, when we talk about Chilich's game 15, 15. and you measure each stroke relative to the tour and the guys that are winning Grand Slams, I mean, there has to be a reason why he hasn't won more, yep. right? His forehand is one of the better ones out there when he's playing well, when he's on his, on his game. His backhand is one of the better ones out there. He can move around the court, cover a lot of court. He gets arguably more free points on his serve than most guys out there that are winning Grand Slams. So there has to be a reason. And we're seeing it now. In the living color right here. And I think that's a big part of the game that gets talked about at times, especially when we see this type of lapse in performance. But I feel like it's gotten overshadowed lately because the game has become so physical. Guys are talking about their nutrition, uh, their their pre-match, post-match routines, you know, the physicality, the, the training, the speed, mm -hmm. the strength. But I feel like, you know, the reason that Federer's won so many slams, Djokovic and Nadal and those guys have won so many is, are there guys out there that are more mentally tough day in, day out? Now, I know they have their bad matches, their, their, their lapses, but generally speaking, 99% of the time, those guys are pretty tough mentally. You know, they may show some emotion out on the court in the case of Djokovic, but he's right back at it. Game Nishikori. As you know, Robbie, the margins in these matches and these games are so small. If your level drops just a few percent, it, it totally turns the match around. It's six games in a row now. Four two down. Two love up here. Suddenly, you just get the feeling that the service game of Chilich becomes a must win one. That's nice. A lot easier to play when you're down. All of a sudden, you know, <laughs> all that focus of uh, you know winning in semifinals and whatever it else it may be that you, you know, has distracted you goes out the window and you start to get that feeling of panic like I got to get back on back on my game I've had some great conversations over the years you know 
through players that I've had yep. uh, with other coaches, you know, other great coaches out there about what mental toughness is in their opinion. And all the coaches word it differently. Every, everybody has their own way of wording it, but it's, it's the ability to focus on things that you can control rather than the things that you can't control. You know, who's watching, what round you are in, uh, how much prize money, how many points, if you can win the title, who you're playing next, who you're playing now. You know, there's, there's a list of a thousand things that you can't control out there that you want to focus on, but if you want to be mentally tough, you have to focus on yeah, other yeah. things. Chilich. Oh, very interesting. That was a strong hold. 2-1 Nishikori. Keeping it down a break in the second set. And he's managed to claw his way back into this one. Feet working overtime and conditions significantly cooler now. Once again, our fellow commentator Nick Lester is giving us updates from courtside. He's in the shade now. And he said it's made a massive difference. Not nearly as much heat coming off the court. Got everywhere covered. Got the aerial views up here, down court level. It's Nick. Locker room's next, Robbie. Yeah. It's one of our guys. Just keeping an eye on <laughs> something there for us. I think that'll play into Nishikori's hands beautifully. I mean, the timing of it couldn't be better. Getting cooler. He's just made the little comeback. Got the break. 13, oh, come on. 14, Off the charts, good. That was a really good backhand down the line. Chilich hit a very strong return. All Kay had to do is just find the angle here. Keep it low, find the angle. Look at that left hand working overtime to pull them all cross court. Tell you what, he's been going for that forehand a bit, and maybe that's why Kay has been uh, keeping the backhand rally cross court when it gets to that because Chilich has been hitting his forehand cross Chilich absolutely right huge. Weezing Zell, jam part for this one. Going with the lines person call here, no overrule, clearly wide.
shaking out his legs a lot. He's been doing that from the beginning. I mean, he's feeling it. There's no doubt about it. He's feeling it. But Chilich has just been giving him game after game since 4-2 up in the second. Yeah, survival of the fittest out here. Break point, Chilich. Just... Like, I don't feel K can afford to lose a game in this fashion. You know, because it's not like... Chilich has played a great game or anything like that. You know, Nishikori has just, you know, made a bunch of errors this game. You kind of expect that from Chilich off and on a bit, but not from Nishikori. Couldn't resist. Advantage and Michigan. Shikori hangs on to his surf. Nishikori leads three games to one on third set. Strange match, this one. Lost 25 minutes or so. Don't forget to stay connected to the US Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube. Join the conversation with us. Hashtag US Open. And everything can be found at usopen.org. Personalized. They were strong. Got everything there. Tension. Probably got the weight and the balance point as well. Most of the top players have their rackets customized. I heard a story about. Uh, Nishikori's coach Michael Chang when he was playing Indian Wells he would get eight or nine rackets strung up for the warm-up all at a different pound you know so they would just go up increments of whatever the poundage was add one pound and he would hit with all of them see which one he liked best on the day cut them all out and have them all restrung at that poundage for that match Wow That a rehab on telling the last year. Didn't play off the Cincinnati, did 
Nishikori is playing with house money at the moment. All these points are bonuses for him. He's up 3-2 in the third. Kenny Shikori constantly just shaking out his legs. Now we're in 46 minutes. This one has been ongoing. Just get the feeling this third set is going to be pivotal. Heat rule policy is in effect. I'm sure both these guys will take the 10 minute break. That will come into effect after this set. In fact, only one of them has to want it or request it. But if they don't take it, they can't carry it over to the end of the third start of the fourth. Excuse me, end of the fourth start of the fifth. Just a little indecision. It looked like for a second there he may want to let that ball drop and just take a regular backhand ground stroke. Oh, that little, you see him just do a little stutter like he was going to back up a little bit. That one right there. Oh. And he probably lost, I mean, it may look like a small deal, but he probably lost three feet of distance on that little stutter because each step you take is going to be about three feet. And he had those ones close together, so that ball would have been easy above the net. And it dropped just about even to the net. Big point, 15-30. Points for Chilich. Oh, you can't hang it out there, can you? Backhand down the line is too good. It's forged in steel, that shot. One more chance here. And how do you explain that? Chilich was playing real aggressive tennis and then all of a sudden gets a break point and just absolutely pushes the ball to Nishikori's backhand and then on that return lifted up so much. Yeah, tough to get clean contact, isn't it? I just feel like he's playing the score. He's thinking about the score so much out there. He just needs to get back on track. And I mean, what's what won him the first set and a half was just bullying Nishikori around the court. You know, Advantage. and you got to be content with it. the worst thing that you can do. Make yourself tight is if you miss a shot and you panic, you freeze every time. If it's the right shot, you got to accept it. And that'll free you up to hit it again. You want to be free to hit the right shots. Nishikori trying to call on the left service line. The ball is called out. Big challenge this one. No rule from the chair. Uh, again, sticking with the lines person's call, which was a good one. Thank you. 
Jones. Nishikori has two challenges for me. And that's something that I try to impress upon, you know, the people I work with all the time is, is make sure that you're hitting the right shot. And if you are, you have to take the outcome, you know, because you don't want to just keep berating yourself and getting discouraged. Like, you know, I think a lot of times when these guys are upset at themselves, they've taken a dumb shot. They're, yes. not, they're not upset at the miss necessarily. They're upset at the attempt. That shot in a sleep normally. You have this game. No, no, you have it. <laughs> oh, you so have it. You have it, really. That's one of those, really isn't rough it? Game, yep. You want Sinkus on the far left. Uh, those three gentlemen there is not happy with the way Chilich is playing at the moment. Trying to encourage him, but it's a tough watch. Seven and a half minutes and counting. The game littered with unforced errors, but it doesn't matter. So vitally important to both players for different reasons. Are you going to hold here or not? What's your gut feel, sir? I, I think he's going to hold. I think he's going to get broken. Again, oh, Chilich. Right now, with that shot, he has got all the control of an unattended garden hose. It is spraying everywhere. Missed it. Yes. Just 
Chile Shishami Hukun on the left service line and the ball is called in. Crowd sensing the importance of the sixth game. He's had enough. Cannot believe that he has just lost control of his ground strokes. Unbelievable. Nishikori looks like he's just managing to, to stand up out on the court at times, taking so much time in between first and second serves, getting water breaks on even changeovers. Chilich just, and after that meltdown, 4-2 up in the second. It's tough. You know, I always found, Robbie, that if I encountered that big of a mental breakdown, yeah. you never quite get rid of it. It's always back there, always, you know, and that's why it's so important to just keep playing your game no matter what because I feel like if you play your game through a tough time, it actually emboldens you to do it again in the future but mm -hmm. if you break down and you back off then it makes you more vulnerable in the future i don't think this 10 minute break can come soon enough yeah for Marin no, that's a great point that's a great point because he has lost all the momentum in the match if you're just joining us for the first time he was up six two four two one-way traffic, folks. Demolishing Nishikori. Nishikori breaks him in the seventh game. Three forehand unforced errors from Chilich. That's when the collapse started. Broke him the very next game. Broke him the first game of this third set. That's where we are now. Just about to enter our third hour now. serve but not really effective enough with the first
Kucinic. That'll work. That could be a Near crucial hole there. Down love 30. Takes himself out of trouble, but he's still down a break, 4-3. Encouraging himself to get better. Missing a lot of second serve returns off the backhand. Flying off the ground, but still within touching distance here. 4-3. That return's been really good for Chilich. I mean, he's been able to pull it off. He's been, I, I feel like that's the one shot that's actually been somewhat good for him when he's out wide to the forehand, just pulling that forehand angle cross court. He actually feels like he's missing a punch when he runs around the backhand to try and continue dictating play with the forehand. There it is. There it is. And again, you know what? Good lesson. You just keep fighting. I mean, this is what paid off for Nishikori in the second set. Nishikori was tired, struggling with his game, but he just kept fighting, emotionally fighting. Same thing as Chilich. Chilich has been, I think, struggling with some inner demons, you know, some, some nerves, some excitement. But you hear him, last game, encouraging himself. There it is again. Serious poundage on that forehand cross court, as you like to say. Three break points. What a game, much better from Chilich, he knows it. Four games on, that's it. Well, I think that the pep talk he gave himself on the change of ends, done himself the world of good. Well, we'll see, we'll see, this, this will be an interesting game to watch. You know, obviously if he makes a whole bunch of first serves in, it won't tell us a, a whole lot, just because he always gets a bunch of free points off of that first delivery. But if he actually has to play this game out, We'll see where his emotions are at. Fifteen. Fifteen. Nothing more than a quick hold here. Get that pressure right back on the shoulders of Nishikori. And he has to step up to the line and hold serve to stay in the set. Game 
Challenge. That's the way. He likes what he's doing now, and why not? He's reversed his fortunes. He's up 5-4. Having a rematch here in this quarterfinal matchup. Fifteen to that 2014 match, Nila Cilic or Nishikori had reached a major final entering the 2014 US Open. And that all changed. That was Nishikori. We had a spectacular win over Novak Djokovic. He's trying to go for a late challenge, but we're told that uh, it was in fact good. Chilich oh. upon oh. Roger Federer at his semi-final back in 2014. Once again, Cilic obliging, donating uh, plenty of free points. Five all it is. He is just so good when he's executing well, is Marin Cilic. Just, this is your typical Cilic match. You know, we get to see some incredibly brilliant shot making and some really wild games. A <laughs> good adjustment. Sharp end of set number three. Things starting to get a little more interesting now. Shikori held to love when serving to stay in the set in his previous service game. Let's see what he can do here. I don't mind the odd variety with the backhand slice. In fact, I like it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, Kay seems to like that matchup. His backhand into Chilich's backhand. He's been going 
going to that whenever possible. Best to get rid of all those bad second serve returns on the backhand now before the tiebreaker comes around. That's very true. Very true. Feast or famine, who do you like better in a tiebreaker? Some guy who's streaky, plays really high level, really low level, like Chilich has been playing, or someone who's a little more steady, like how Nishikori's been playing for the most part? Give me one point to think about that. Yes. Again, Nishikori. Back to back love holds for Nishikori. I like streaky bacon. So I'm going to go with the streaky player for this tiebreaker. Marin Cilic is what my gut feel says. Just I think he's going to get a few more free points on serve. And he's going to tighten up fair. the return. You were factoring in the serve. That's not fair at all. That's part of being streaky. Let's see how it shakes out. This could be big. That's unexpected from Nishikori. Free point on the first serve. Yeah, those are like hen's teeth, those. Forehand. That was something special from Nishikori, refusing to give up any ground on the baseline. That's the offensive mindset that you like. Well, that's how Nishikori has to play, and, and I like it. I, I do. I think you know you have to take the match from the opponent, and Nishikori is certainly targeting that Chilich backhand whenever possible. It's contagious. 
And they should go I think he, he had to think that second serve was going out. I thought that was going to go long. They just keep donating each other second serve returns. They're such accomplished returners. It's interesting, that was the first time Nishikori tried to take the attack to Chilich's forehand, and then he lost control of the point. Mm -hmm. So I think that Chilich has had some big misses off of that forehand side at, at some big moments in the match. But I, I feel like he's obviously done way more consistent damage off the forehand as well. Yeah, just having a look back at the last time they played at the US Open in the final. It was a, a pretty a simple match, but prior to that, the 2012 match, which Chilich won in four sets. It was a third set tiebreaker, but on that day, it was won by Nishikori. I love that final shot, not overplaying. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm very big. You know me, Robbie. I love angling and, and hitting the opponent off the court, especially when you're attacking, especially when you're planning on coming forward, because even if Nishikori guesses right on that ball, yep. all Chilich has to do is touch the ball with the racket, and the point's over. It's going to be way too far out of court to recover. Lovely two-shot combination there to give him a mini break to the good. Take a deep breath. What were we talking about earlier? Once you get the jitterbugs, once you get the nerves, they're real tough to shake for the rest of the match. Back to back double faults. You felt those were coming, didn't you, Robbie? Yeah. I know you felt they were coming. You're the one who was pointing it out, sir. He hadn't had a single double fault in the set up until 4 3. Now the set is on Nishikori's racket. No chance. It's going to go about 78 miles an hour, nice and safe. Too good. How's that for bounce back ability? players paying the price for missing first serves in this tiebreaker.
This third set tiebreaker really has been a microcosm of the set. Scrappy. Oscillating back and forth. But it's Nishikori now. He's got a set point. Nishikori takes the bull by the horns, sensed the opportunity, pulled the trigger. He's two sets to one to the good. Set number four, here we go. Getting some grief from his mates. He's dropped it. Even though Chilich lost that point, I feel like that's what he wants to make this match. That's what the third set lacked. We only played, I want to say, two or three really physical points in that whole third set. So even though it was long, it was an hour and 12 minutes long, I don't think it was that tough for Nishikori. Yeah. It just wasn't a physical set. There were just a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Quick points. Plenty to ponder for Chelich's coach Ivan Sinkus. Chang, a finalist here. It's been a while now since that occurred, way back in 1996. Game. 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 Somebody will be Contents. well pleased with uh, the industry. Nishikori has put in, it'll be him, because he made a career out of winning matches like this, didn't he? Yep, absolutely. Just fighting, keeping his level, I guess even, you know, not, not too high, not, mm. not too, never getting too low. Yeah, just, good base level exactly, of play. Exactly, and just didn't stray too far from that. And could run all day. I feel like that's, you know, that's what separates a Nishikori from, from Chang is Nishikori has more shot making potential than Chang did in his career, but Chang could run all day long and not get tired. And I, th I feel like at times so, uh, the conditions and, and the toughness of a match can get to Nishikori's legs. Second 
15. I love that play for a righty for on a second serve is taking that second serve and, and cutting it out wide, hitting it out wide, a la Pete Sampras. Just, it's so easy to lose control of a second serve point, but that one makes it tough for the opponent to gain control. They have to hit a perfect return, and even then, all you have to do is just flick it to the open court, and they're still running. Still scrambling to stay in. That's what you need is these quick holds. You can focus your energies trying to break your opponent's serve. Now, what do we have here? Half chance. So early. Timing's impeccable. Point took a bit out of him. I haven't seen him struggling like that to get air in for a while. Doesn't happen often. One of the fittest guys on tour. Uh, perhaps uh, the accumulation of matches over the last couple of days taking its toll. Not coming back. That was nice. 13, 
Of course, the stress of having this match in the palm of his hands should have been up two sets to love, but it takes its toll mentally. Of course, that in turn affects you physically. You're 100% right, Robbie. Jeez. I mean, you can train as hard as you want yes. off the court in practice and in the gym and all that sort of stuff, but what you can't train for is the emotional stress that you get under when you're playing a huge mm -hmm. tournament in huge moments, and that zaps you so much physically. I've heard of and seen guys cramping middle of the first set on, in indoor tennis just because they're so wound up, so nervous. Good ground stroking. Uh -huh. Alex Hutchinson in his book Endure talks about the central governor that our mind has that starts to limit your capabilities when things get tough because it wants to protect the body. And I thought that was a lovely way of describing it. Perhaps Chilich's central governor is starting to kick in now, but he'll be able to keep it at bay if he breaks here. Nishikori in stark contrast to halfway through the second set. Looked like he was probably going to be done and dusted. Well, the mind has taken over, hasn't it? Well, he just kept plugging away. He mm -hmm. didn't back down. I mean, being oh, able gosh. to fight through adversity is, is one of those intangibles that you can't account for on a on a stat sheet you know you can't account for uh -huh. in physicality and, and necessarily see it but you know the best fighters a lot of times they win their grand slams they win their big tournaments because they've had to tough out a couple of rounds you know what i mean the whole tournament hasn't been pretty Let's having a look at some of the numbers last night in nadal's matches throughout the course of his career to a level and the majors because remember a few of the masters 1000s used to be yep. the best of five sets he had played 17 matches over four hours in his career Taylor 17 it's crazy yesterday evenings was Dominic team's first and he's been around a while yep. Nishikori holds on to his serve, 2-1 in the fourth. And still find a way to win. It took him 71 goes at the Masters 1000s before he was able to win one. Of course, that happened in Cincinnati 2016, so he's a patient individual. Well, interesting. Uh, Shikori's adapted his game from first set to third. Well, absolutely. You know, I mean, he's picked up on the fact that Chilich is the one responsible for turning this match around. He's the one making all the mistakes, so he's backing up, playing a little bit more passive. And again, that's what we said when, when Chilich was up 6-2, 4-2. Chilich needed to help out Nishikori, and that's exactly what he's done. And Nishikori's recognized that and said Chilich is making a bunch of mistakes. We'll continue to let him. So, uh, great players are able to problem solve within matches. Yeah. So, okay, I'm not being effective taking the ball early. Let me just stand a little further back. Set number three even further back. And just take a look at the scoreboard now. Two sets to one lead. And 2-1 here in the fourth. 
If you're not a good problem solver, it's probably not a sport you should take up. Well, yeah, you're, you're the general out there, right? You have to be everything. You've got to be the pep squad. You've got to be the athlete. You've got to be the coach. Psychologist. Yeah. 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 There's no substitutions. Two games on the full set. You're uh, all out there on your own. Don't forget, usopenshop.org is the official shop for 2018 US Open merchandise. Choose from the largest selection of 2018 tees, caps, towels, outerwear, and collectibles. Visit usopenshop.org. Yesterday evening, you have a match where one player in almost five hours, he's actually won more points than his opponent, but he's the loser. It's a tough sport, that. It's called tennis. What a match yesterday evening. If you haven't seen any of the highlights, I suggest that when this one's done, you go back and watch a little bit of Nadal and team. Another nice, comfortable service hold for Nishikori. He's edging ever closer to the finish line, 3-2. Back inside Arthur Ashe Stadium. Third of the men's quarterfinal matches. Well underway here. Okay, Nishikori, two sets to one in the lead, 3-2 in the fourth set. Del Potro winner yesterday. And this was Rafael Nadal, four hours, 49 minutes later. Took down Dominic team 7 6 in the fifth. It's all favorite. Fourteen, fifteen. Loves to serve up wide on the juice. And then the one down the middle that we've just seen on the air side. Very similar sort of motion for both. Coming around the right side of the tennis ball. Again, challenge. Both cruising on serve here in the third. Chilich has only lost two points behind his serve. Yep. Nishikori losing six. I mean, 
A little bit of a struggle, but I, I just feel like, I feel like Chilich is under the gun so much that he needs to break Nishikori just from the way this match has played out after the first set. He has had bunches of really bad tennis. I just feel like if he doesn't have a lead, a break lead to kind of safeguard that, that occurrence that's been happening, I, I think this match could be in real bad shape for him. Well, I'm going to play devil's advocate with you because when he has had the lead, that's when he played his worst tennis. So it's almost like, okay, <laughs> maybe he should be even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear where you're coming from. 4-2 up, he started to play terrible. 4-3 up in that third set tiebreaker. We saw what happened there. That's amazing because you're the one who's in the lead. You would think all the pressure's on the other guy. Amazing how our mindset works. Just a miss it. I don't know. I, it didn't look tired when he hit it. Obviously, the reaction afterward looked pretty rough. He could just be disappointed and, and trying to move on and focus. Okay. Chilich with some more break points in this fourth set. That's big time heading from Chilich. He is back with a vengeance. He gets the crucial break in the seventh game. He's up 4-3. Struggling in the early stages of the fourth set. Now he's got the crucial break. Can he cement it? That is the million dollar question. That's a good start. 13. It's better. Well, he's looking invincible on serve this set, as you said earlier, Robbie. This is what it looked like in the beginning of the match, the first set and a half. Just too good, too big, too strong, too yes. accurate. Yes, like it. Uh. 
14. Perfect repost from Cilic. He is looking good suddenly now. It's Kanish Corey's turn to be under the pump. Kanish Corey's got to make him at least try and serve this fourth set out. Somehow hang on to his serve here. 3-5. Especially with what's happened in the breaker and the second set, absolutely. We we spoke about it after Nishikori won that second set. It's like, well, now you have to feel like there's no set that's too far gone. Yes. With the way that Chilich just got tentative and started spraying balls everywhere. one thing he's going to give him from here on in is a steady diet of forehands whether it's on the return on the back of the court he's going to test that shot out because it went a wall for a good 45 minutes to an hour nothing wrong with that one 13, 15. Full of aces in this match now for K. Oh, he's made it. What a way to close out the ninth game. But when we come back, it'll be Marin Cilic to serve for the fourth. Marin Cilic with a chance to take us the distance. He's been the distance already this week against Alex Demenor. That one going 7-5 in the fifth. Serving here at 5-4. What are we talking about, Robbie? I'm telling you, once you're infected with the nerves, it always comes and you never get rid of it for the whole match. What an untimely double fault. I the first one. Guarantee you, Nishikori knows it too. He's going to make this guy play ever. Look at how far back he is. Remember the first double fault that he served in that third set tiebreaker. 
It was also the first double fault of the entire set. Was that? 4-3? Yep. Two serves to come. And he went back to back, back double to faults, back doubles, remember? That's right. And you know the point before Nishikori missed the second ball. You know how you talk about good misses and bad misses. Yep. In this situation, you got to give yourself more net clearance, more everything because of that miss right there. Mm -hmm. You just feel how tight this guy is. Oh. His favorite serve. Yeah, you can't give him that one, and you cannot give him the one out wide on the deuce side right now. If he wants to try and be gutsy and, and go for the flatter serve, the straighter serve, good luck. But you know, you got to take when, when somebody's tight, you got to take their favorite stuff away from them. Huge point yet. That is big time Ten tennis. Ten it's too good given the circumstances, given what's happened in the past. Cilic with a set point to take us the distance. For the second time this tournament, Marin Cilic will be involved in a fifth set. He's finally won the fourth, six games to four. Nishikori will get this fifth set underway. Quick. Having a quick look at uh, five set record at the US Open for Chilic. A very healthy eight and one for Subita Dimonor. A couple of days ago, before that, it was Joe Wilfred Songa. There's Kukushkin in there. Jesse Levine, remember Jesse? Of course, uh, Julian Beneteau in 2008. But the lone loss. Who was that against? That was against Nishi. That's a heck of a smash. 2010. And Nishikori's five set records, five and one. Yeah. So less wins. But look at the names of the players he's beaten in five sets. Ferrer, Raonic, Vavrinka, Murray. Some good names in there. Benoit Pair. He's also defeated Aaron Chilic. That's good stuff from Nishikori. How do you see this set unfolding? I, I, I don't think you can pick it. I really don't. It just, it all depends on Chilich. I mean, unless something drastic changes, if Chilich plays solid yep. and good tennis, he yes. seems to be too good today for Nishikori. Okay. If he doesn't, yeah. then Nishikori is going to win the, the fifth set for sure. Because those types of points, that last point, you yep. just haven't seen many of those where, where Nishikori has dictated the action, come in and finished off a point. It's, it's been off of Chilich's racket one way or another. Oh, 
that's a that's a hundred points now that have been decided by Chilich. He's got 51 winners to 49 unforced errors. I mean, it's just Nishikori's numbers are, are just just over half that. Shikori out of the blocks. He had an advantage of serving first. Some might say. Did you believe that or not? Did it really bother you or not? I don't know. I don't know if I put too much thought into it. I mean, obviously, you know, with my father, he believes he's old school. He believes serving first is a big advantage. I think cases can be argued every which way. Obviously, you, ha you have to play one less game. You know, if you're serving first, you're going to serve for the set at 5-3 instead of 6-4, right? Yeah, assuming you break. Yeah. Kevin Anderson doesn't believe it's any advantage, and I think that's what helped him so much in the match against Federer in the fifth, and the same when he played Isner. Yeah, I think you can argue it both ways. You know, I, I, don't, I, I just think it depends. If <laughs> and what's, the numbers. What's, what's more important is are you holding or not, mm -hmm. right? For a lot of people, they don't want to serve first game coming out of the blocks. They don't feel they're into the match. Well, you're in the fifth down. set, though. Oh, in the fifth set, serving yeah. first. Yeah. I mean, you still got to break and you still got to hold. Fifteen. And I, when I had that conversation with Jim Courier, because I was the kind of guy who wanted to always be serving first, I, I didn't like the scoreboard pressure of serving second. And I said to him exactly what Kevin Anderson had said to me, that he doesn't think it's an advantage and he just plays. Doesn't bother him either way. And Jim said something interesting. He said, I was exactly the same. I didn't mind serving second in a deciding set because I always wanted to be fresh when I right. served. Right, after changeover. Never thought of that. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And the other, I mean, again, you could argue it the other way, whereas Nishikori can now break to hold and if he and break to win right as we get later in the set yes but if he gets broken he's going to have another crack at it of course so i like i said i, I think you can you know kind of debate that for quite a ways <laughs> quite a while the actual numbers show there's almost no difference there you go so Perfect. but of course the numbers don't also tell you what the psyche of the players are like right one of the fittest guys on tour is Marin Cilic. And he's going to have to dig into those fitness levels again today. A match against Alex Demenor finishing in the wee hours of early Sunday morning, late Saturday night, 7-5 in the fifth there. And of course, it's a knock-on effect because you don't get a good night's sleep Yep. No matter how, how many hours you sleep thereafter, it's, it's always about the hours you get in before midnight. That's what the experts will tell you. And even against David Goffin, I mean, he looked out of sorts in that opening stanza, didn't he? he yeah, struggled he, to win. The first it. two sets, yeah. Yep.
Martin Lang. Fortunately. Good stuff from Nishikori. 2 1, he leads for Sit. Marin Cilic serving to reduce the arrears here. Down 1 2 in the fifth set. Quick straw poll among some of the commentators in our booze. Suggesting that it just might be Cilic who edges out Nishikori. But of course, that's on paper. No one playing on paper. Co-commentator. Just thinking it's uh, the man from Japan that might edge this one out. I just think in a fifth set, yep. it comes down to emotion, adrenaline, and the, the closer this set goes, the later it goes, I feel like the more free points Chilich is going to give Nishikori, and it could just be enough for a little 7-5. Just about to break out some numbers of Chilich's fifth set record. He's lost a couple of close ones. At Davis Cup, just the majors. He's an impeccable 23 and 9. It's impressive. Very. Unfortunately, he's lost two pretty poor ones this year. Guido Peller at Wimbledon, remember that from two sets to love up. Lost that five setter. He's in trouble here. Roger Federer got him in the finals of the Australian Open. That was the other one. Now bringing out the heavy artillery 
13 footer. You know, as good as Chilich's numbers are at the majors, Shikori, your man, is a very impressive 15 and 4 in five set matches. Both with exemplary records. It's Nishikori who strikes first. Nishikori leads three games to one in the final set. You see it right there. Nishikori is just, he's running off of just mental toughness. Mm -hmm. That's thats what he's doing. You know, his game at his, when Chilich has best hasn't been there. His physicality hasn't been there. But he is so oh. mentally strong. Don't forget to download the US Open app for all the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news, celebrity sightings, and more. Available in the App Store and Google Play Store. I tell you what's an interesting discussion because, yes, we think of Nishikori as a tough guy, but we often see his body break down. So, when you see his five-set record, an impeccable 15-4, and four, does it shock you a little bit or not? Well, I think that when Nishikori is struggling, he just doesn't play. He retires with his body. Like, I feel like there's, there's, a, there's a difference there. And, you know, I've known Kay for quite some time. Yes. And I think that he sees his tennis, you know, obviously, like all these guys should see, is his tennis career as a business. And so when he has an injury, he's very quick to just say, well, this is something that I don't want to end my career or I don't want to have hamper my career. So he's very careful when he gets hurt. But if he's healthy, he's tough. No kidding. 15 and 4 and 5 setters. Testimony to that. That's how important this is. Quick hold here. 4-1 lead. Finish line is well within sight. We'll have to keep an eye on that Chilich forehand down the line. He's had a couple of wide open looks off sitters and has not wanted to go down the line. Unbelievable return, too. Nishikori hit a great kicker out wide. Had the whole court open. That's been his. That's been one of his best shots. That forehand cross. Yep. Even when he was struggling the other day against Golfan, that shot was strong for him. Oh, what a relief to be able to close out the service game at the first time of asking. 4-1 Nishikori deciding set. Oh, how about that for a slice of luck? Yeah, that was just a great stab by Nishikori. I think that's one of the toughest shots for a two-handed backhand to handle, low and short. But if you don't make the attempt, it's never going to go in. So again, got to applaud the guy for the effort.
Malaysia Korea is telling the call on the right by sideline. The ball is called out. For a moment there, I thought that might have been a call from the crowd. I thought it was a call from the crowd as well. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't seem like it is. Oh, I think it's got a piece of the line. Yes. That's the gentleman has made an unforced error. But no damage done. Chase review will give Nishikori a second go. Wanting to challenge, and she said you waited too long. We just got word that the ball was out, serve was wide. Talking around the pause now, it's not only the fact that he's not allowed to challenge, but he's got a bug that's flying around his head, delaying the second serve even further. Oh, Nishikori thought he was going to get that short one again, didn't he? The nervy one. Yep, he did. I, I agree 100%. He was going to look at run around and just tag a forehand. That's the guilty party. Great pattern. I, he passed on a couple of forehand down the lines earlier in this set, but had the courage to hit that one. Oh, what a get again from Nishikori to get that ball back in play and ask one more question of Chilich. with the shot selection not I am if it was under a different circumstance we know that Chilich is feeling the pressure and this just looks like a cheap point you know, he's looking for a quick cheap point when you're feeling tight when you're making errors play high percentage tennis solid tennis oh what a return what a return again Advantage. Chilich battling the demons. Break point for a double break lead.
Oh, and this time it's Nishikori's turn to misfire. I think Kay was pointing there to say, just keep it to the backhand. Yes. I've been winning all those rallies, make him play. We often speak about decision making under pressure. I think he'd love a do over there. It's funny, because if he makes it, hits a winner down the line, it was the perfect shot choice, right? <laughs> In his mind. Dumped that one. And if you watch this forehand carefully, you'll see a vapor trail. Big hold. How often do we see big comebacks when a player's on the brink of going up a double break? The match is pretty much over, I think. Nishikori's 5-1 up, but suddenly now, there's additional pressure. Sir, take a seat, please. Oh, he's given that one the full Monty. 15. Well taken that long on. I mean, he didn't even get out of his chair for this one. Furious with himself. Desire is starting to burn brighter. Tell you what, he's been tough this this whole match, Joe. He's faced a lot of adversity, mostly coming from himself, <laughs> but he's just come back and been positive the next point, the next couple points after. These players have served some untimely double faults. Look what Nishikori needed there. Faults. Oh, it's a late call. Nishikori challenging the corner on the right and near sideline. The ball was caught out. Oh, it's 
just wide. I think he's missed it. Just. Unbelievably impressive from Chilich. I mean, we know the demons that he's battling out there internally, but he's just fighting so hard through it. Takes such a tough effort. Unbelievable. So from 40-15 uh, down, let's break point up. was a baby that cried out at precisely the right at the same time the serve clock went to zero that's why Chilich called out the Chi umpire to say why no warning it doesn't matter because Chilich is broken back and that desire within burns bright again we're back on serve in the fifth 4-3 Chilich has done well to get the break back can he draw level Challenge or not? Not there, but on the point before, the love 15 point, Kay was thinking about a challenge. It was in. Wow. Nishikori is sitting on those forehand serves so far this set. Chilich is only winning 47% of his first serve points. Again, two in this game. Ruiz Angzel is giving him confirmation that it was well long. First point of the game, there was one halfway up the net.
desperately needs a first serve and a free point on the first serve. Kind of like that. Well, that's too good. Again, Nishikori's job is to cover that T serve on the ad side. If Chilich can just come up with an ace on his least favorite serve out there, then it, you can't cover it all. Advantage. Chilich. Not sure anybody would have got to that one. You would have been sitting on that one, though, Robbie. Sitting on it. It's another four-hour quarterfinal match. Back to back now. Team Nadal went four hours, 49 minutes into the early hours of this morning. These guys are following suit. We are back on level terms here, Arthur Ashe Stadium. He's got to be so careful of those unforced errors. I mean, he is, is walking a tightrope at the moment. It's about as many as he can make and still be in this match. like Kay's starting to feel it too. Double fault, bad double fault, the game he got broken. First point up and then his, his score line, his stats were looking clean until that game. Added a bunch of unforced errors. Some impressive backhands. Yeah, those were unbelievable backhands from Nishikori to fight that off. I thought he was going to hang one in the middle of the court, and we get to see that Chilich forehand cross court. Defense from Nishikori. It's an important hold. A very important hold. 5 4 deciding set.
four hours and five minutes. Chilich and Nishikori have been going at it. Hammer and tongs. There's been some great winners. Plenty of unforced errors, though. Who's going to step up to the plate here at the tail end of the fifth? hope that it's going to be a moment of magic rather than a moment of madness that determines the outcome of a match like this. That was a pretty good point from Nishikori, it though. It was. Very good point. Another stab return by Nishikori. He's done that well, hasn't he? Yep. Understands the importance of ball in play. Neutralizing a big first serve. Two forehand errors in this game for Cilic. Sees him down 15-30. Oh, make that three. 15, Two match points for Nishikori. What a way to shut the gates. Kei Nishikori is a US Open semi-finalist. He's had to dig deep today and he's come out on top. His impeccable fifth set record continues to get even better. He wins today in four hours and eight minutes. 2-6, 6-4, 7-6, 4-6, 6-4.